many people suppose that if your parents were Christians or if you come from a so-called Christian country that that makes you a Christian but it was Jesus himself who talked to a religious man a leader of the Pharisees called Nicodemus you can read that in the Bible in the Gospel of John in chapter 3 Jesus spoke to this religious leader about the need to be born again you see being religious or being from a, a believing background or from a, a land which is full of believers or having parents who are believers doesn't automatically make you a believer Jesus said to that religious leader to Nicodemus he says unless you're born again or have new birth from above literally born from above you cannot see the kingdom of heaven you see obviously to become a member of a family you need to be born from those parents and then you automatically become a child of that family but our problem is ever since our first parents the, the parents of the the human race Adam and Eve all human beings are spiritually born into this world dead God said to them in the day that you sin you shall surely die and in the epistle to the Ephesians in chapter 2 verse 1 we read that all people born into the world are born spiritually dead we're spiritually dead in and of ourselves incapable of pleasing God so Jesus said to Nicodemus that which is born of the flesh is flesh but that which is born of the spirit the spirit of God is spirit you must be born again some people especially in Britain when they hear of the expression being born again they usually think of Americans oh it's those Americans born again Christians or it's something extreme or fundamentalists or religious zealots but being born again is necessary as Jesus said to Nicodemus there's no other kind of Christian it's not that there's a, a born again Christian and that there's a, a non born again Christian but it's the only way to be a Christian so there's no need really to say born again Christian because a born again Christian is the only kind of biblical Christian there is we need to be born again because in and of ourselves we have no life and we need life from God if we are to see the kingdom of God we're incapable of pleasing God in John chapter 6 and verse 44 Jesus gives a hard saying and after many of these sayings what Jesus said in this chapter some people found it so hard that they stopped following him they thought this is a hard saying who can take it in John 6 44 Jesus said all that the father gives to me will come to me and he who comes to me I will by no means cast out and that's John 6 30 sorry John 6 37 and in John 6 44 Jesus says no one can come to me unless the father draw him and I will raise him up on the last day and ver that in verse 44 the word what he uses for draw I've got it in the, the Greek word, uh, dictionary vines the word for draw is helkuo h-e-l-k-u-o transliterated into English and elsewhere is translated where it's drag where the fishermen drag the net full of fish towards the boat and also it's used in Acts 16 where Paul and Silas were dragged into the market after they uh, had cast the demon out of the slave girl in Philippi and in John uh, 18 where a sword is drawn out of its sheath and in James in, in the epistle of James where is it not the rich who drag you into court so Jesus said no one can come to me unless the father draw or literally drag him and I will raise him up at the last day and John 12 32 Jesus says if I I be lifted up I will draw all men to myself we need 
God to act because we're spiritually incapable. Also, it's a fulfillment of the Old Testament because when Jesus was talking to that religious leader, Nicodemus, Jesus said, are you not the ruler of Israel and should you know these things? If I told you of earthly things and you don't believe them, how will you believe if I tell you of heaven things? Nicodemus should have known because it was prophesied in the Old Testament. In the prophecy of Ezekiel chapter 11, 19 and Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 25, where God says, I will take out the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. In other words, that cold, dead, stony heart, I'll take it out and I'll give you a new heart. And also God said through the prophecy of Jeremiah in chapter 31, when I make the new covenant, it won't be like the whole old covenant made on stone, like the laws of Moses where the Ten Commandments were written on tablets of stone. But this covenant would be one where I'd write your laws on my heart. You'd have a new living relationship with me by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you new birth and it will cause you to be born again and become a child of God. And it is by believing the gospel because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God ordains the ends and he also ordains the means. It's as we hear the gospel preached, as we believe the gospel, that those incapable dead sinners are given life. In Ezekiel 37 verses 1 to 14, there's the, the vision of the dry bones. There was bones and then they became, it was almost like the scene from Jason the Argonauts, they stood on their feet and, uh, and then flesh came on them but there was no life in them and human beings are like that. We're physically alive but we're spiritually dead and one thing was lacking, it was when the, the wind or the spirit came into them and gave them new life. And it's interesting that the same Hebrew word ruach means wind and spirit and breath and in the, the New Testament the word pneuma, pneuma, P-N-U-E-M-A, from word which we get words like um, pneumonia, it means spirit, breath or wind. So it's when the, the spirit, the breath of God comes into a person that they receive new life and become a children, a child of God. And that process transforms a person. They, they have life where they didn't have it before. So that person, although they don't become perfect instantly, they're born again instantly and it starts a process called sanctification and God says in the scriptures that he who begun a good work in you shall bring it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So we need new birth from above because we're born dead in our trespasses and sins but it's a miracle from God. Another occasion Jesus said the things which are impossible with men are possible with God so when these things are impossible for us God can do it. If you believe the gospel, you can receive the Holy Spirit and you'll be born again and be saved. Thank you.